Hi beauties, we're back, finally. Uh, we did take a hiatus. As you guys know, we moved into the new house, so we're in the new studio. Um, I'm really excited. Uh, we're planning on doing like a studio tour so you guys can see how everything turned out because it actually turned out really, really cool. I hope you like the backdrop. It was a pain in the ass to figure it out because we bought a carton with the lights, but it didn't come with a curtain. It was just the lights. So then we had to find a curtain. It was, is a lot. There's a lot to catch you guys up on. I'm sorry, uh, we took a break. Um, there's really no reason behind it other than like we had like a week of like really intense physical moving where we were like taking all the furniture and everything when we got into the house and then we unpacked everything and got unpacked pretty quickly and then it was just like little projects and waiting for the rest of our furniture to come in and honestly I just needed a time to mentally decompress. Nikki and I wanted to kind of enjoy being in the house without the pressure of filming and posting and doing all that and I'm I'm sorry for that. I missed you guys a ton. Uh, I felt guilty the whole time we didn't post but it was kind of necessary it was something that we had worked so long for it was a full year process basically for us to get in the house and um the fact that we finally could be in it and just enjoy it and, and enjoy being together in the house we just were like we're not gonna worry about trying to film or do any of that and then you know we were also doing all the little projects around the house like setting up the studio so yes sorry that was a long-winded explanation to where we were i missed you guys so much uh several of you guys reached out asked where the ipsy videos were of course drea always uh, messages me and tells me like her customization, how that went. We didn't do that video this past two months, honestly. Sorry, sorry I'm sorry, I'm sorry guys. Um, and then um, another one of our regular viewers, Dana, she also reached out and she talked about her process with the Ipsy Plus customization. And honestly, the way they felt and the way I felt was kind of like, this is January's bag, by the way. I know we're mid-February. February will be coming soon, but I did want to get January's up. So the way that they felt about January, the way I felt about January, kind of a unexciting month. We'll call it that. It wasn't bad. Um, unfortunately, I know one of the things that I got chosen for me was a Huda Beauty palette that I already own. I love the palette. Uh, it's a great palette. It's just something that I already own, so it's kind of like a waste. Um, not their fault that I have too much fucking makeup. Um, but it, it still was like, eh. that'll probably go in a giveaway. But yeah, I, uh, I also realized because it's been, I don't know, 15 years since, and it's since I even thought about this Ipsy. Um, I have my mother's, we will continue to do Ipsy versus Ipsy with my mother's Ipsy. Um, but because we are now living separately, it will definitely take a little bit longer to get these videos up. Uh, but I don't remember what she got in her box and what she added for the, the customization like upgrade option. So hers is big, always. She always adds stuff on, I don't do that. I, I really have been trying so hard to not spend anything that isn't related to the house. So uh, I didn't add anything on in mine, obviously. So mine's thin. But yeah, we're just gonna jump in. If you guys are new, sorry that I just spent like five minutes rambling. Thanks for sticking it through. Like that's impressive. We're glad you're here. Um, but basically what I do with Ipsy versus Ipsy, my mom has an Ipsy Plus and a standard Ipsy bag subscription. I also have a plus and a standard. Every month I take our two bags uh, for each of the, the respective versions and I open them up, I compare the two, I pick out my five favorite products and uh, then I pick out like which bag I liked better as like a whole. That's what we're doing. So let's start with mom's. Um, like I said, I have no idea what she added on, what she got in it. I'm, I'm sure I can probably gauge it. I think, I think she went through it. I say that, I was gonna say, I think she went through it and like kept everything in it. I don't know, I don't know. I will say since we're in mid-February while I'm getting everything sorted out, of course I have done the Glam Bag X. Uh, I'm not going to talk about that until we do the unboxing. Um, my, they're still getting sent to my mom's house and she said mine has shown up, hers has not because she also upgraded to the X. Um, but just as like a spoiler, I was very satisfied with how the first month went. I feel like I got a really great box. It was really uh, worth my value. And so I'm excited about it. But I also, uh, I also have to see it kind of play out for a full year before I can really gauge like that. I always feel like they really, for the first couple boxes, when they introduce something new, they really make them great so that they, they convince people who maybe haven't signed up yet um, by watching other people to to go ahead and sign up and then it starts kind of falling off So I want to see how it plays out for the whole year But overall first box really excited about it and I'm really excited to show you guys that I have no idea what she added on and what she got uh, That is gonna be a problem, but we will we will overcome that So of course the theme for January 2021 was dream it 
and the bag is really cute. Uh, it reminds me of like an athletic bag, like a little sports workout bag. Cute, like it a lot. So she, I'm assuming this was an add-on. This is a glowing skin kit. Uh, it looks like it came with like a glow serum and a headband. Uh, cute, I really like that. Uh, like I said, I don't normally shop it. Um, I feel like she bought it for the serum and she probably won't ever use the headband. So maybe I can convince her to give me the headband, but maybe, maybe not. Okay, so I'm gonna assume this is something they chose for her. This is a leave-in conditioner from Eden. Uh, it's a coconut shea leave-in conditioner meant to refresh and renew. It is paraben and sulfate free. I just don't imagine that's something that she would buy as an add-on. So I'm guessing this is something that she either had to choose or uh, came in her bag. But uh, like I said, we're just guessing at this point. I think the easiest way since I don't know what she did is just to talk about what she has here and what products I'm a fan of. So she has a Anastasia Lash Brag volu Volumizing Mascara. Once again, I'm guessing that's probably was something chosen for her or that she had to choose because she doesn't normally buy mascaras and add-ons. Um, she does have a Vitabrid C12 Dual Drop Serum. She probably bought that. She has a Sleek Hair Serum. I'm guessing she bought this too. This is very hard guessing. I should have texted her and been like, can you find me what you chose? She probably would have, but it was, I, I, we'd already sat down and st I, it was already, we were in full throttle at that point. So I wasn't turning back, so, oh well. This is just gonna be a rough video. It's it's my first video back. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, next thing she has is a really pretty Ola Neon. It looks like a matte lip color. It is in the shade Kahlo. Really pretty, very much up her alley. Um, she also has a lipstick vegan lip oil from Tarte Cosmetics. Um, I love Tarte. I'm not really a big fan of, well, no, I gotta say that. I don't want to be a big fan of lip serums, but unfortunately, like my, I'm getting to that age where like, I'm in, I'm past, I'm past the mid twenties mark. I'm on my way to 30 and, and TikTok and the internet keep reminding me that I really need to focus on skincare. So I've actually been using lip serums a lot. So this is actually probably a good product. I just don't want to like, I want to be like, oh, I don't really care about those, but I do, I do care about them now. I have to, so, so not, not bad products. This. I think she got this. I think they chose this for her. The Kate Zimmerville Goat Milk Revitalize and uh, Rest Assure uh, Moisturizing Cream. This is one of my favorite moisturizers out there. I've actually been using this pretty regularly recently because during the summer, I mean, during the winter, my skin gets really dry. It's a really nice replenishing um, face balm and it's a pretty pricey product. It's like a $65 product. So that's a great product. I think that that was chosen for her because I, I know we talked about it, it's just been so long. Um, she also has a, another leave-in conditioner. I don't, I don't know. She, she obviously had to buy some of it. I doubt that they just assembled a bag that was all like leave-in conditioners. Um, so I'm guessing that, that she did buy some of them. I don't know which ones she bought, but I'm assuming she did buy something or some of them. All right, the last thing she has is a, I believe it's pronounced Sion perfume, like a little mini perfume bottle. I'm assuming that also was, in her kits. Like, I, I don't think she bought that. If I had to guess, I would say the lip oil, the perfume, I, this is like a, it's like clue, like who done it? I'm guessing it was the lip oil and the perfume and the Kate Somerville skin thing and perhaps this lip as well and this uh, mascara in the blue bag for the month of January. Um, and I think everything else was probably an add on, but I mean, I'm guessing. I'm gonna go with those five though. I'm gonna leave these over here if I'm wrong. Oh well. All right, mine is gonna be much easier because there's no guessing. I didn't add anything on. It's all, that's everything in here is what I, what's what I, what they got, what I chose for myself and what they chose for me. All right, once again, cute little bag. Ah, oh, yes, okay. I don't remember it all besides the thing, but as I'm seeing stuff come out, I'm like, okay. Oh, well, okay, so now, now I'm, I'm getting a little messed up because I got the Vitabred, the Vitabred C12 Dual Drop Serum and that was chosen, or that was something I got to choose. So maybe she chose, I don't know. I got to stop thinking about what mom chose and what she added on. It's just, it's not worth it. It's not worth my time or energy. So first thing, the Mauve Obsessions from Huda, Huda Beauty. Really pretty palette. Like I said, I have it. Um, I really like it though. It's a super nice, great for traveling. I love all of these like little nine color mini eyeshadow palettes that she has because it's 
it, it really is like, you can bring so much with you in just a tiny little compartment. So I love them for traveling. I have most of her collection. She's added a couple new ones recently that I haven't picked up yet but I really, really like this. Um, I'm sure it will go towards a giveaway at some point. I keep I keep putting off, this is a tangent, I keep putting off giveaways because I'm trying to wait for like COVID to pass. And at that point, like I'm just going with never. It's just gonna be, it's just, this is it now. Like this is where we're at in life. So uh, we'll probably do a giveaway soon because I, I really want to, but uh, I've just been trying to like wait out COVID so I can ship something out without worrying about it, but you know, whatever. Anyway, that was a tangent, but that will probably go into a giveaway pile. Um, I also got this really cute little uh, dual brush set from Firma Beauty. Really pretty little blending brushes. Pretty, pretty is the wrong word for it. They're just, they're just brushes, but they're really nice. That's, a, that's probably a better word. Nice, fluffy blending brushes. Love it. You guys know how I feel about, uh, about eyeshadow brushes. And in the past year, I've, I've really just started wildly collecting them um, because that means that I, I can go more times in between washing them. And <laughs> in fact, when we first moved into the house, about like two weeks after we moved into the house, I decided I was gonna sit down and wash all my brushes. And I realized because of the way they were stained and some of them were like the color pigments and stuff that were on them, I realized the last time that I washed them was before we began to film our Halloween series, which was probably the beginning of October. Cause we didn't do it super early. We needed to do it earlier, but it, but is bad. It's, it's like four months. It's, it's really bad. And then I had to wash like a hundred brushes, but it, I did it. I'm doing great. I promise guys. It's, it's great. We're great here. Um, so I also got this, uh, little billion dollar brow, best brow toolkit ever. I, you know, when I saw it chosen, cause I believe this was chosen for me. It was this and the Huda beauty thing. Those were my two things that they chose and I picked everything else. Um, I was not thrilled because I don't really need any of it. I have like, it comes, it comes with little brow scissors, a sculpting tool with like a spoolie on the end. So you get the sculpting tool and the spoolie and then um, a pair of tweezers. So I was like, I don't need that. I have all of those, but now that I think about it, I had a pair of tweezers a while ago that I loved. I used the hell out of them. They broke. I have a new backup pair that actually I had at the time when they broke. So I had I didn't have to go run out and buy some. So I kind of like the idea of having like a backup pair. I also like the idea of having one that I could throw into like, not that I'm traveling or ever will travel again at this point, but uh, but having one in my, my travel bag as well. So I like that. This I actually did need, so I like that as well. The scissors, I don't really cut my eyebrow hairs cause they grow funny. And when I cut them, they just look, it's like when a, it's like when a five-year-old cuts their bangs, like that every time I try and trim them, that's how it looks. It's just like really like bad, it's just bad. And you're like, oh, how do I fix you? And you're like, I, I, I don't know what to do from here. So, um, so yeah, I don't really use eyebrow scissors as much, but it's not a bad thing to have. Not my favorite product. Like let's just boil it down to, it's not bad. It's just not my favorite product, but still, I don't think it's a, it's a cute little set. It's like, it's fine. I wouldn't have picked it for myself. All right, next thing I have is High IQ Cannabis Eye Gel. If you guys have been with me for a while, you also know that I discovered I really have an affinity for cannabis-based eye products. I mean, all products, skincare products, eye products, eye makeup palettes. Um, a whole bunch of companies released like CBD oil, cannabis oil uh, lines this past year. And I really have discovered I like the way that my body responds to them. I find uh, they do a great job like reducing redness and swelling and helping with different issues. So I figured a uh, cannabis eye gel would be right up my alley. Uh, once again, because the internet keeps telling me I'm getting really old, um, I've discovered that I really need to uh, to be using eye creams like literally every day. They're like, you can't even take a day off, otherwise you're gonna you're gonna have crow's feet the next day. And so I'm like, oh God. okay. So I've been really diligent about my skincare. Uh, I, I I got better in 2020. I was pretty much doing it like five out of seven days, and now it's like seven out of seven days. My ass is like. <laughs> Please don't age. So yeah, that's how I've been feeling lately. It's been a lot. There's so many stories I have to tell you guys. It's the weirdest part is like, uh, I have like so many things to talk about and I just haven't like sat down and done a makeup look to like talk about them. So yeah, but I'm back baby. I'm gonna use my little eye scissors to open up this box cause I can't, I can't do it. This is the, this is the serum. That's the last thing that we have. I recall this being pretty pricey. This is like a 
$70 serum or something like that. Um, and it's a really nice size. It's a little bit over one fluid ounce, so it's a good, decent size. I'll just say, overall, I I can't really pick which one I like better because I don't know what, what mom got in hers exactly, so it's not really fair. Of the products I have, I, I obviously would pick my bag because I do like the two serum. I, got, I like the eye serum and the um, face serum that I got. Um, I like the brushes. I like the little brow kits. It's not a bad bag. It just was very uh, uninspired is the best way to put it. So I guess I'll pick mine just because I know what was in mine. Um, but I do have to say I really am a big fan of uh, my mom's Kate Somerville thing. I'm guessing she didn't. I'm guessing she added this on because I know this was an add-on as well. Um, but that's a great product, highly recommend. Yeah, so sorry because I don't know what was in mom's bag exactly. I, it's, I can't really do what I normally do for this. Uh, I'll be able to do it for the little one which we're filming next because we're just filming everything that I need to, need to film today, so. Um, so yeah, January was kinda, uh, like I said, because I've already customized the Glam Bag X, I'm excited about it. I'm excited to open it up. I'm excited to see what my mom got as well because we didn't talk about it. A lot of times we do talk about it, but we haven't seen each other since customization and uh, like I just over text and stuff, I didn't wanna be like, oh, what, did, what were the like 10 products you chose? So, um, so I'm interested to see what she got as well and how she felt about it, but yeah. Sorry that we've been in hiatus mode. Uh, we're back we're back we've got some exciting things planned and uh i've missed you guys a lot i'm happy to be back and i'm happy to share kind of what we've we've missed over the past month so yeah if you like the video give it a thumbs up uh definitely let me know like what you guys thought of january what you guys are feeling about february if you've gotten your february's yet that video will be up hopefully by the end of the month but we're still waiting on moms to show up and then i gotta go pick them up from her house so yeah if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and do that because you've bared with us for this long so might as well and other than that i hope you guys are all staying safe healthy you have a wonderful day and you stay girly with a dark twist